Hi and welcome to Aix-en-Provence, the city of Paul Cézanne. Um, today I'm going to take you through a tour of this beautiful city in the Provence which has inspired Paul Cézanne and many other painters and it's just a beautiful place to check out. Let's have a look. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. It's a sunny day today, so a perfect time. A whole bunch of Picassos on display. Major places that you should see. A beautiful art museum. Calissons are summer sweets that are made out of candied fruit. They just look like a painting. You have to check this out. It's a big highlight that you can't miss. It's one of the most popular museums in Aix-en-Provence. Blue sky like today. One of my favorite towns in France. So Aix is full of surprises and I'm going to take you on a walking tour through Aix. Aix-en-Provence might be one of my favorite towns in France. It's a beautiful, beautiful city and it's a sunny day today, so a perfect time to visit the city. I'm going to take you on a walking tour through Aix and we're going to check out all the major places that you should see when you're here. And we're going to start our tour at the Place General de Gaulle. You have the tourism office just behind me and there's a shopping area which is brand new and this is the perfect place to explore the city. here this beautiful fountain which is La Fontaine de la Ronton and this is one of the central places in Aix-en-Provence and a great starting point when you visit the city. From the Fontaine, you get directly into the Cour Mirabeau, which is this beautiful tree-lined boulevard that has been turned into a pedestrian zone. And this is just a magnificent place to stroll along under these towering trees that provide some nice shade in the summer. The sun seems to always be shining in Aix-en-Provence, at least every time I've been here. I had great weather and uh, blue sky like today. So when you walk along the Cour de Mirabeau, you'll see lots of small cafes and bistros and uh, a few stores here and there. So let's just enjoy the walk to this beautiful boulevard. Parallel street to the Cour Mirabeau is the Rue Mezarine and uh, in this little side street you'll find a beautiful art museum. We're going to check that out.
the Hotel de Como was built as a hotel in 1715 and it now houses an art museum, the Como Centre d'Art, which features exhibitions of Paul Cezanne and other painters that have frequented this area here in Aix-en-Provence. And it's really a beautiful palais if you want to check that out here. Entrance to the museum is 14 euros 50 and that's a pretty steep entrance fee but you get quite a large collection of artworks to see. The good news is that the museum is also not too crowded so you get a good look at all the artworks. And now that we're in the side streets of Aix-en-Provence that is actually my next tip for your visit. Just wander around a little bit uh, in the Vieille Ville in the old town of Aix-en-Provence and uh, check out the beautiful buildings all held in ochre yellow facades and really quite beautiful and our next stop is going to be the Place des Quatre Dauphins the square of the four dolphins which is really the name of the small fountain that you can find there check this out From the Place des Quatre Dauphins, it's just a stone throw away to our next destination, which is a beautiful church that uh, is held in the Gothic style. The Church of Saint Jean de Malte is a beautiful church that is held in the Gothic style, and uh, it reminds me a little bit of some of the Gothic churches in Great Britain. Let's have a look. I don't think it's open today, but we'll get a little closer and check it out. Right next to the church is the Musée Granet, which is one of the most popular museums in Aix-en-Provence. And you can tell there's already a line at the entrance, people trying to get inside. The museum is getting 100,000 visitors per year. The museum displays a whole bunch of really interesting artworks from Cezanne, Picasso and others. Entrance is uh, 8 euros, about 9 dollars. <laughs>
part of your ticket to the Musée Granet, you also get to see another collection, the Collection Jean Planck, which is located not far from the museum in an old church building, I think. I'm going to check that out. This collection contains artworks from Picasso, Renoir, Monet, Van Gogh, Gauguin, Braque, Dubuffet, and the list goes on. So all the greats are on display here in X. Let's have a look. So I think the exhibition in this renovated church building was my favorite. It's a really cool space, has been completely modernized and you have a really interesting art collection there. There's a whole bunch of Picassos on display and uh, even some less known Art Brut artists which I found just really interesting. Just a few steps behind the Musée Granet, you'll find the Calisson Bremont, which is a must-buy when you're here in Aix-en-Provence. The Calisson are a sweet pastry delight, and they look really yummy, and we're gonna check that out now. Calissons are summer sweet that are made out of candied fruit and almond pastry, and uh, it's coated with some sugar paste. Let's have a look. So I'm now at the Place Faubin at the end of the Cours Mirabeau and we're going to head into the old town of X and we're going to check out what's in store there. If you take the Rue Fabreau, you end up at the Place Saint Honoré and you can do quite a bit of shopping here. You see lots of boutiques, both international brand stores as well as local boutiques.
I'm now at the Place d'Alberta and this square looks like a painting in itself. There's nothing else here but uh, this fountain and the patina of the surrounding walls and facades of these buildings. They just look like a painting. You have to check this out. I don't think the camera quite captures this. Make sure you come to the Place d'Alberta. Very cool situation in this somewhat unimposing square in the middle of the old town. And we're going to continue our tour through the old town and the centre-ville of X to our next destination. Let's have a look. I've now reached Place Richem, another one of those really cute squares in the city center of X. As you can see, lots of bistros and cafes on this nice square that is uh, under the shades of these towering trees. And literally just 30 seconds further is the Place de l'Hôtel de Ville. Here is the town hall of uh, X. Really beautiful building with a nice clock tower. Check it out. In the interior of the tower, there is a small plaque that commemorates the liberation of the US and French army in the Second World War. In 1944, they liberated the X from the Nazi regime. If you pass the clock tower and uh, make a sharp left, you get immediately to the next square, which is the Place des Cardeurs, which is a really large square with uh, lots of restaurants. As you can tell, the restaurants right now are empty. It's too early for that. But imagine in the evening is a really nice place to taste some dishes from the Provence.
All right, I've now arrived at the Cathedral Saint Sauveur d'Aix. As you can see, it's a really beautiful cathedral in the Gothic and Neo Gothic style. It has some Romanesque elements as well. So, to be honest, the cathedral looks not that large from the outside, but when you get in, that cathedral is massive. It's huge. So, the outside is a little bit deceiving, but let's have a look inside. Check it out. And when you go inside, make sure you don't miss out on the baptistry and the cloister garden. Really beautiful as well. My next step on our tour through X is a big highlight and we're gonna go there now. It's about a 12 minute walk from the cathedral. Join me. On the way I just stopped at the Monument Joseph Sec. The Monument of Joseph Sec commemorated four years of liberty after the storm of the Bastille in Paris. So very interesting. Dates all the way back to 1792. And there's a really nice, tiny little garden with a really cool art installation. Check this out. The X is full of surprises and in this medieval looking garden you have a really cool display of modern art. The art piece is called Resonance by Etienne Ray and might only be a temporary exhibition but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't do other exhibitions as well. So this walk is going through a slightly less picturesque part of X, but I think it will be worth it. It's uh, going through a residential area, Rue Paul Alexis. So of course uh, my next stop is the Atelier de Paul Cézanne, which lived and worked here in X 
and produced most of his art in this town and around it, looking at the Momo too. This 19th century post-impressionist painter is really the pride of the city and he had his uh, workshop just a short walk outside of town and he walked to his workshop every day. This is where he created his artwork in the last six years of his life. What's so cool about uh, this atelier is that it has been untouched since Paul Cezanne passed away over 100 years ago. So you can literally see how he left the place before he died. It's like going back in time for a moment and I think that's so interesting. So behind this unassuming wall we've reached now the Atelier Cezanne. So this was uh, Paul Cezanne's garden and the place where he painted quite a bit as well. If you want to see the workshop itself, make sure you get prior reservations. I didn't do that and uh, unfortunately all the tours as well as the unguided visits are all sold out for today. So I uh, have to be content with the garden. Now, full disclosure, I've been here about 25 years ago and I've seen the workshop back then. And I don't think it's changed since then. That was my video on beautiful Aix-en-Provence and if you enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite part of Aix-en-Provence? And uh, please also check out my other videos on the beautiful Provence and the south of France. And if you haven't done so yet please subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.